In the new age of battery-powered electric vehicles, or BEVs, one company has plans to go one step ahead and develop a car that is completely run by solar power. If you're thinking of Tesla or Volkswagen or even Ford, you're wrong. This company is a somewhat unknown name in the EV automobile segment, and I'm pretty sure not many have heard of it. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Aptera and what plans it has in order to dominate the EV market. Stay tuned! Before we start rambling about Aptera's latest plans to dominate the automobile market, let's take a look at the history of the company. Aptera Motors is an American startup high-efficiency car company based in San Diego, California. The company was founded quite recently in 2006 by Stephen P. Fambro, an electrical engineer with a dream of designing and building his own super-efficient sports car, a two-seater EV. He brought on Chris Anthony to be co-CEO and they started working on an aerodynamic, three-wheeled car designed with a fully enclosed cabin and side-by-side -side seating for two. The car had a hybrid engine with a whopping 330 miles per gallon. The design later evolved into a full battery-only EV. At that time, Aptera got funding from the big names like Google and other investors. They were planning to start production in 2008. This was way before the concept of clean energy and electric cars was developed. At the time, Tesla too were working on their own electric car, the Roadster. Aptera also applied for federal funding like many green industry startups. But because the Aptera model had only three wheels instead of four, the funding application was rejected. The company's founders tried constantly to try and get their funding application accepted, but they'd always get rejected. The company had to eventually close their doors in 2011. Stephen Fambro and Chris Anthony moved on to other successful projects, such as providing innovative vertical farming and building commercial lithium-ion battery packs. These successes made them look into the possibility of starting Aptera again. And in 2019, they launched a crowdfunding campaign to restart development. The timing was good since electric batteries had gotten much cheaper and lighter. Tesla too was well established and now was the pioneer of the electric vehicle industry. Aptera Motors maintained a low profile until December 2020. The company has restarted work on their original concept for a vehicle the company said will be the most efficient vehicle ever made available to customers. This new concept, dubbed Aptera 3.0, has a streamlined, super-efficient body design and teamed up with modern electric wheel hub motors, updated electronics and powerful slim battery packs which started production in late 2021. The main idea behind the vehicle is efficiency, as Aptera claims the vehicle uses only 100 watt-hours to travel a mile. As impressive as Aptera's new car sounds, even more impressive are the plans it has for the EV revolution. Sandy Monroe, a renowned automotive engineer known for his teardowns, believes Aptera has a lot of potential to succeed. Monroe thinks very highly of Aptera and its solar electric three-wheeler, saying that it is the electric vehicle that will make sense even to those who would not otherwise consider one. The automotive engineer says that Aptera's sales projections for the next few years are somewhat conservative and in his view, the startup will end up with more orders than it's currently predicting it will have. Aptera already has some 47,000 reservations for its solar EV, but according to Sandy, the number will go up once the vehicle launches and people experience and understand what it's about. And the fact that it charges from the sun, which will make the ownership experience cheaper and more fuss-free, and Sandy believes this will be the game-changing feature that will bring in the customers. He views the three-wheeler solar EV not as a replacement for a conventional car, but as a new type of vehicle whose blend of traits will quickly make it popular. He notes that when talking about the Aptera with his more affluent acquaintances, they all deem it the perfect vehicle for their summer holiday homes, where they could just drive around on sun power and not have to worry as much about charging as they would with regular EV. And it will also make sense for people for whom budget will be limited, both for the initial purchase as well as in terms of running costs. And the relatively low acquisition price and the fact that you will get free miles to drive around will boost its popularity among young people. Sandy really seems sold on the Aptera, which is expected to enter production next year, 2023, when the first deliveries are also planned. Looking at all the benefits, including a fully solar car and an affordable price range, I can't see why Aptera will be a failure. It is by far a unique concept, unless of course Tesla or some other renowned automaker comes up with something similar. But what are your thoughts on the new Aptera solar car? 
Does Aptera have the potential to conquer the EV market and win over customers who aren't willing to spend more than $30,000 on an EV? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. Thanks for watching.